Okay, it is time to reveal a bootleg Savage Garden CD. So, really uh, capitalising on the popularity of uh, music at the moment here. So anyway, uh, long story short, uh, a few months ago I was rummaging through a charity shop uh, looking at the CDs and I came across this, a sealed compilation of both Savage Garden albums. However, it's not it's not just the irregular one. It appears to be a kind of Chinese bootleg kind of thing. So as we can see here, there's uh, a lot of Chinese. I think that's Chinese anyway. I don't think it's Japanese because it doesn't look familiar at all. Uh, and you know, it's got some some of their famous songs like No Move, Living the Dream. Oh wait, no, those are the album names apparently. Um, so yeah, I'm quite a big Savage Garden fan. In fact, uh, I have both of their albums. And, well, actually, I say I'm a big Savage Garden fan. This album is really darn good. This is their first album, uh, self-titled. This isn't as good, I'll be honest. This is kind of like, I don't know, veering into slightly generic poppy kind of stuff. Uh, whereas this, you know, is still very pop, but it was entertainingly pop and a little bit weird. Um, anyway, I'm not here to give a rundown of all of Savage Garden's albums, and yes, I have checked, there are only two. Um, yeah, I saw this and thought, hey, I'll open that up, but I've forgotten about it for months, so I'm going to open it up on camera now and then take a look, because, as we'll see in a second, this isn't your regular um, compilation of the albums because they seem to have added some songs, I think. Uh, now, on the back we have disc one and two. Now, presumably, disc one is going to be their first album, Savage Garden, disc two being Affirmation, their second one. Now, we have the very first track, Take On Me. Now, I'll, I'll give everyone a minute if you wanna, if you wanna go ahead and Google it and stuff. Who performed the famous song, Take On Me? Now, I'll give you a hint. It's not fucking Savage Garden. Now, we also very briefly compare. So, the tracks here, uh, To The Moon And Back, I Want You, Truly Madly Deeply. Those are actually some of their best songs. Anyway, let's have a look for them here. No more. So, celebrate our love. Living the dream. I wonder why. Affamashian. To the moon us back. I want you. Truly, modly, deeply. Universe. Santa Nonica. Tears of pearls. Carry on dancing. Violet. And break my shake me. Now you'll also notice there are 16 tracks there and a further 16 tracks on the second disc. Now, Eagle-eyed viewers may notice that there are only 11 tracks on this one and there are only 12 on this one, meaning that they've added extra tracks. Ooh, okay, that flips. Uh, we'll just take a look at the uh, top-notch English of disc two as well. So we've got affirmation this time spelt correctly because uh, affirmation there was wrongly spelt. I don't know why it's on both albums, but apparently it is. Hold me. I know I loved you. The best thing. Crash and burn. Chain to you. The animal song. The loved after me. Okay. Two beds and a coffee machine. You can still be free. Cunning down Renance. What the... Okay. Um, I don't know you, Ang Mo. Uh, Ang, of course, being Ang from uh, The Last Airbender. I love the way you love me. Picture of you. I'll never not need you, and so good. So, honestly, part of the reason I bought this is because it didn't make any sense to me. Because there are 32 tracks overall. Um, and there aren't 32 tracks to their name that I'm aware of, unless there's some, like, single releases or something. So, I'm gonna open this. Does he? Does it come out? Holy shit, that was... Okay, so... Ah, right. Okay, I got confused then. So we have the cover again. Uh, let's take a quick look. Now, ooh, that... 
that looks official. Which way around is this? Okay, this is Savage Garden. Take on me. Um, now, there's a possibility, of course, that this is a like Chinese-only release or something. Maybe they did actually release something, you know, abroad and not over here. But as far as I can tell, that's not what this is. And of course, the second disc is also Take On Me, disc two. So we've got a lovely picture of them there. So it seems to kind of be that the cover is um, an alternative shot of that somehow. And the other one, is, well, yeah, actually, it may just be the images. Aha! That is indeed the insert image from the second album, also present on the back here. So, is the cover the insert for this? No, it's not. Okay, well, uh, also these are bought from Poundland, as you can probably tell with the Poundland insert. So, uh, unprecedented now. I'm going to go ahead and pop this into my laptop and we'll have a listen and look at what the files are. Now obviously for copyright reasons I'm not going to play entire songs, I'm just going to play snippets. I'll have a listen myself maybe first. Um, and yeah, and then I'll come back at the end to give an overview. Okay, so I'm uh, using OBS to record my desktop. I've inverted the colours. Um, so, I've put this into um, Windows Media Player. And it's popped up as the A-list by A1. It's apparently Dance from 2000. Now, as I mentioned, uh, some of these, some of these names are. Now that I've, now that I've looked at it, none of these names actually are from, uh, from Savage Garden at all. So, uh, this is the most curious one. I, I've got to start off with this. Let's play. Take on me. Okay, I'm gonna go do something quickly. Okay, so um, I just used my Google Assistant thing on my tablet because uh, it has music recognition, and it has indeed confirmed that this is by artist A1. Now I'm gonna do a quick Google search because I'll be honest, I've never heard of A1. So I'm back. Uh, A1 are indeed a real band. They're a British Norwegian pop group. Uh, from, like, late 90s. So, I'm not really seeing the link here. So this is actually an album for a different band, it seems. Uh, I'm going to very quickly just see if there's any link between A1 and Savage Garden. All right, I've had a check, and no, there's... Uh, just Google the two band names, and there's just nothing. It's uh, it seems that A One are definitely, you know, quite a forgotten band, even compared to Savage Garden, who weren't exactly huge, but I feel like they had a bit of a legacy. So I'm gonna have a check back on this CD. Right. Okay. So I've kind of had a jump around uh, on this album, and I've noticed something else that's interesting. So obviously, this information is what. I presume either comes from a database or someone's uploaded uh, onto the Windows Media Player like database. Um, but these songs aren't quite right. So I was just listening to track 11, Celebrate Our Love, and that was definitely Savage Garden. Now, I can't name the song that it actually is because it, it's titled wrong. It's not called Celebrate Our Love. I think it's from their second album, but I can't remember which one it is. However, I just clicked on track 9, She Doesn't See Me, assuming, of course, it was by A1. However, but, if I jump back to the start... Anytime I need to see a face, I just close my eyes And I am taken to a place where your grass don't mind It's fucking Savage Garden. What is going on? There's like 
There's 16 tracks. Some of them are A1. The first one's definitely A1. Um, there's some other one I just listened to. And yet, some of the other ones are by Savage Garden. So this seems to be a mishmash of the British Norwegian band A1 and Savage... I don't understand. B. Adams, is that like... Are those tracks Savage Garden ones? Holy shit, this is it's the moon and back. So, okay, so the composer then, anything with B. Adams seems to be Savage Garden. And A. Carlson and C. Ingebrigtsen seems to be A1. I'll stop this because uh, I don't want too many community strikes on my channel. It's not like I'm making money, but... Well, this is very interesting. So, I'm going to pop in disc 2, I think. Okay, so I'm back with disc 2. Disc 2 is appearing as All by Savage Garden, as opposed to A1. Now, there's no composer part for this one, annoyingly. And uh, it even comes up, like, confusingly, as Savage Garden 2 by Savage Garden and some Chinese characters. Uh, so, I'm assuming this is also a combination of A1 and Savage Garden. So, I'm going to have a quick uh, listen to a few of these. Unfortunately, I don't know many of the songs off Affirmation. I've only listened to it, like, twice. But I will definitely try and confirm if the other people are A1. Because, obviously, 16 tracks. Um, there's only 12 on the second Savage Garden album. So there has to be, by process of elimination, at least four by someone who isn't Savage Garden. Okay, right. I'm back. The fuckery continues. So, track 13, Tears of Pearls, which is... So, I will give them credit. The first 12 tracks are actually the second Savage Garden album in order. The Animal Song and uh, The Lover After Me, uh, wrongly titled here, are actually in the right order, as is everything else. So, tracks 1 to 12 are actually Affirmation, uh, their second album. So, this one... Heart and soul, so completely So I kind of recognised the voice a little, like I'd heard it on the radio before, so I checked with Google Assistant, and that's fucking Boyzone. What is going on here? Why is, like, I, I understand that, you know, they tried to, like, boost it out by adding some A1, but just stay cons consistent. Why is Boyzone on here now? So I'm going to check the last three tracks. Right, back again. Uh, so yeah, all of these tracks, all of the last four are by Boyzone. Uh, if you're not sure who Boyzone are, they kind of like... They were a 90s boy band in the UK. Um, quite, quite notorious for having very naff music. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not my high horse here. Savage Garden is definitely not the... Uh, not the best quality band, I'm sure, and you know, a lot of people probably write them off as quite crap as well. And I, I can see that. But this is bewildering to me. So we got 32 tracks. We've got basically, I think, all of Savage Garden's albums, which is fine, because that would be 23 tracks. And the rest is a weird mixture of A1 and Boy Zone. Alright, back to the physical video. So we're back. What the fuck was that? So, I mean, technically, technically they're not wrong. This was indeed both Savage Albert, both Savage Garden albums. However, um, there was an extra bit on it, and I don't know. See, unfortunately, I don't know enough about A1 or Boyzone to really tell you what they were going for here. Now, presumably, oh, actually, the paper stick is off, but presumably this is known as Take On Me, which I'd bet is maybe an A1 album, because they covered the song Take On Me, which is the first track of the first disc here. So I presume they kind of threw that in because that was maybe either really big in China or the biggest name of a song or album to kind of try and push their product. 
because I guess Savage Garden's big, but you know, Take On Me by Aha is an even bigger song. And probably something I imagine that was quite popular around the world, not just in uh, the UK. So, yeah, that was an interesting trip down music memory lane. God admit, I'm not sure what to do with this now because, uh, well, I've got both albums. And whilst I love curiosities and weird bootlegs, the bonuses of this one is some tracks by A1 and fucking Boyzone. Like, I don't know, the the cover of A1 had like a pretty interesting instrumental but the, the singing was really standard and just kind of detracted from it. So, yeah, um, you know, that that was a that was a fun thing. I don't know if I'll do many more bootleg CD videos in the future. If I come across them though, I will buy them and I will make videos, but unfortunately and annoyingly there aren't any like of those weird markets near me where you get lots of questionable imports, sort of like fake Yu-Gi-Oh decks and knockoff CDs. Unfortunately, there's no enemy me that does that. But if anyone does know of a good source of getting some uh, getting some bootleg music, obviously for you know a cheap price, I'm not going to import from China or something. Let me know in the comments uh, and let me know what you thought. Is this is this the ideal Savage Garden compilation? Is that what you guys were missing? Do you just wish that you know for a long car journey you could pop on some Savage Garden, but interspersed with it is a Norwegian British band and a UK Irish band I think boys on were or am I thinking of Westlife I don't fucking know um okay you sat through this long enough I'll let you go now thanks